hello students so in this video uh, we are going to discuss the next point from the topic derivative it is a derivative of parametric function till now we have seen the derivative of composite function that is chain rule derivative of inverse function and using it we have obtained the formula for derivative of inverse trigonometric function and then two methods one is a logarithmic differentiation for the functions of the type variable raised to variable or function raised to function and the combination of product and divisions and one more method we have seen it is the derivative of implicit function it is for the functions in which the dependent variable y occurs more than once and now we are going to discuss the next point from this topic it is derivative of parametric functions so we'll see what is the parametric function here so we'll go for the definition of parametric function we consider one function y is equal to phi of x that is y is function of x but this y is f phi of x can also be expressed as x is function of t and y is function of t whenever we remove t from these two functions again we get the previous function so the function y is equal to phi of x is such that there exists one more variable t with x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t then there are these two functions x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t they are called as parametric functions in parameter t of given function y is equal to phi of x so again these two functions represents the previous function y is equal to phi of x he doni functions ekatra kele ya doghancha madun t eliminate kela kadun takla tar milnara function ha parat mool cha function y is is equal to phi of x asto so we'll see the example of parametric function here so we'll consider the relations x is equal to a cos t and y is equal to a sin t considering a as constant now x and y both are function of another variable third variable t so t is a parameter and these two relations are called as parametric function so we can square and add these two relations so we get x square plus y square is equal to a square cos square t plus a square sin square t and taking a square common we'll get cos square plus cos square t plus sin square t is 1 so we get the relation x square plus y square is equal to a square now these two relations x is equal to a cos t and y is equal to a sin t are called as parametric form of this given function 1 so now see we are getting three relations here x is function of t y is function of t and from these two relations if we remove t if we eliminate t then we get y is function of x so here we have the derivative of x with respect to t that is dx by dt derivative of y with respect to t it is dy by dt and derivative of y with respect to x is dy by dx so we have to find the relation between these three derivatives and that is the formula for derivatives of parametric functions so we can prove this as a theorem statement of the theorem if x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t are differentiable parametric functions in t then y is a differentiable function of x how we can obtain by eliminating t from these two given equations then we have the relation between their derivatives as dy by dx is equal to that is the ratio of dy by dt and dx by dt if dx by dt is not equal to 0 and remember just we get, can't cancel dt dt from numerator and denominator because the notation is d by dt in the numerator and d by dt in the denominator of y and x now we consider the given statement x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t these are a differentiable parametric functions in t that is dx by dt and dy by dt exist this is the meaning of given statement already we are knowing this by Uh, the definition which we have studied in 11th standard akra vidya shiklat ki derivative exist hoto yacha arth kay differentiable yacha arth dx by dt dy by dt exist hotat so 
विल स्टार्ट विथ अ स्मॉल चेंज इन टी आतापर्यंत फक्त एक्स मधला चेंज डेल्टा एक्स घेतला होता या प्रूफमध्ये थोडासा बदल आपण करतो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विथ चेंज इन टी बिकॉज एक्स अगेन डिपेंडिंग ऑन टी वाय हा एक्सचा फंक्शन आहे पण एक्स आणि वाय हे दोघे परत टीचा फंक्शन आहे इंडिपेंडेंट व्हेरिएबल इज टी सो विल स्टार्ट विथ डेल्टा टी एस चेंज इन टी एक्स हा वाय टी वरती अवलंबून आहे त्यामुळे जर टी बदलला तर एक्स पण बदलणार आहे सो लेट डेल्टा एक्स बी स्मॉल चेंज इन एक्स अँड डेल्टा वाय बी द करस्पॉन्डिंग चेंज इन वाय इफ डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो देन डेल्टा एक्स टेन्स टू झिरो डेल्टा टी खूप लहान असेल तर डेल्टा एक्स सुद्धा खूप लहान असणार आहे नो डाऊट डेल्टा वाय ऑल्सो टेन्स टू झिरो पण आपण तो मेन्शन करत नाही कारण आपल्याला त्याचा पुढे कुठे उपयोग करायचा नाही आहे नाव फ्रॉम अल्जेब्रा वी हॅव तर या प्रूफमध्ये सगळ्यात महत्त्वाची गोष्ट काय की डेल्टा एक्स डेल्टा टी डेल्टा वाय हे एक्स वाय टीमधले चेंजेस आहेत त्यामुळे हे नंबर्स असणार आहेत अँड नंबर कॅन फॉलो ऑल द अल्जेब्राईक रिलेशन्स आता इथं कुठला रिलेशन आपण वापरणार आहे बघा डेल्टा वाय बाय डेल्टा एक्स कॅन ऑल्सो बी रिटनेस डेल्टा वाय बाय डेल्टा टी डिवाइड बाय डेल्टा एक्स बाय डेल्टा टी कारण डेल्टा टी हा नॉट इक्वल टू झिरो ॲज डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो इज नॉट इक्वल टू झिरो त्यामुळे न्यूमरेटर डिनामिनेटरला डेल्टा टीने आपण डिव्हाइड करू शकतो किंवा उलट्या दिशेने आर एच एस करून एल एच एसकडे येतात तर डेल्टा टी कॅन्सल करू शकतो या फॉर्ममध्ये आला की पुढची स्टेप येते टेकिंग लिमिट ॲज डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो सो बिफोर दॅट विल कॉल दिस ॲज इक्वेशन वन अँड विल टेक द लिमिट ॲज डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो सी सी वॉट वी आर गेटिंग दोन्ही साईडला लिमिट डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो डेल्टा वाय बाय डेल्टा एक्स दिस एल एच एस लिमिट डेल्टा टेन्स टी टेन्स टू झिरो डेल्टा वाय बाय डेल्टा टी दिस इज न्यूमरेटर डिवायडेड बाय डेल्टा एक्स बाय डेल्टा टी तर या टोटल रिलेशनमध्ये लेफ्ट साईडला टीची टर्म कुठंच नाही आहे कंडिशन मात्र आहे डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो बट ऑलरेडी वी हॅव मेन्शन दॅट वेन एव्हर डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो डेल्टा एक्स टेन्स टू झिरो त्यामुळे लेफ्ट साईडला पण तो चेंज करतो आहे स्टेटमेंटमध्ये लिमिट इन्स्ट ऑफ डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो व वी मे राईट डेल्टा एक्स टेन्स टू झिरो आणि राईट हँड साईडला जो एकच लिमिट होता तो न्यूमरेटर डिनामिनेटरला सेपरेट केला आहे लिमिट डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो ऑफ डेल्टा वाय बाय डेल्टा टी दिस इज न्यूमरेटर लिमिट डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो डेल्टा एक्स बाय डेल्टा टी दिस इज डिनॉमिनेटर पण अकरावीमध्ये लिमिटचा एक प्रॉपर्टी आपण बघितली होती लिमिट ऑफ क्वेशंट ऑर डिव्हिजन इज इक्वल टू डिव्हिजन ऑफ लिमिट ऑर क्वेशंट ऑफ लिमिट्स प्रोव्हायडेड इथं कंडिशन काय होती द लिमिट इन द डिनॉमिनेटर शुड नॉट बी झिरो डिनॉमिनेटरमधला लिमिट हा जर झिरो आला तर मात्र क्वेश्चनचा फॉर्म्युला वापरता येत नाही सो दिस इज द कंडिशन ना वी कॉल दिस रिलेशन ॲज ना वी कॉल दिस रिलेशन ॲज इक्वेशन सेकंड आता पुन्हा आपण दिल्ल्या स्टेटमेंटकडे जाऊयात वॉट इज दॅट द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ टी अँड वाय इज इक्वल टू जी ऑफ टी आर डिफरेन्शियल फंक्शन्स ऑफ टी आणि ऑलरेडी आपण मेन्शन केलं होतं की याचा अर्थ काय डी एक्स बाय डी टी अँड डी वाय बाय डी टी एक्झिस्ट बट बाय लिवनीज डेफिनेशन सी वॉट वी आर गोईंग टू गेट नाव लिमिट डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो डेल्टा एक्स बाय डेल्टा टी इज इक्वल टू डी एक्स बाय डी टी अँड लिमिट डेल्टा टी टेन्स टू झिरो डेल्टा वाय बाय डेल्टा टी इज इक्वल टू डी वाय बाय डी टी या दोन्ही लिमिट्स लिवनीज डेफिनेशनप्रमाणे एक्झिस्ट होतात बिकॉज ऑफ द गिवन कंडिशन अँड वी कॉल दे मॅस इक्वेशन्स थ्री अँड फोर आता हे इक्वेशन्स थ्री आणि फोर काय सांगतात बघा ती लिमिटची व्हॅल्यू एक्झिस्ट होते दोन्ही लिमिट्स एक्झिस्ट होतात पण इक्वेशन टूमध्ये या दोन्ही लिमिट्स आहेत राईट हँड साईडला राईट हँड साईडचा न्यूमरेटर आहे इक्वेशन फोरमध्ये राईट हँड साईडचा डिनॉमिनेटर आहे इक्वेशन थ्रीमध्ये आणि या दोन्ही एक्झिस्ट होतात याचा अर्थ काय इक्वेशन टूमधला आर एच एस एक्झिस्ट होतो आहे कारण न्यूमरेटर डिनॉमिनेटर फायनाईट आहेत त्यामुळं रेशो फायनाईट येणार आहे आणि तिथं आपण कंडिशन घेतली की डिनॉमिनेटर शुड नॉट बी झिरो याचा अर्थ तो इन्फायनाईट होणार नाही आहे नाव ॲज इक्वेशन्स थ्री अँड फोर एक्झिस्ट युझिंग दॅम इन टू बाय थ्री अँड फोर द आर एच एस ऑफ इक्वेशन टू एक्झिस्ट हेन्स द एल एच एस एक्झिस्ट अँड सी वॉट इज एल एच एस इट इज अ लिमिट डेल्टा वाय बाय डेल्टा एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी वाय बाय डी एक्स दिस एल एच एस ऑल्सो एक्झिस्ट अँड ॲज इक्वेशन्स थ्री फोर फायव्ह सेल्स दॅट द थ्री थ्री लिमिट्स एक्झिस्ट हे तिन्ही लिमिट एक्झिस्ट होतात आणि या लिमिटच्या व्हॅल्यूज आहेत इक्वेशन टूमध्ये त्यामुळे इक्वेशन टूमध्ये ह्या नोटेशन्स आपण डायरेक्ट वापरू शकतो युझिंग 
three four five in two we get and see what we are getting LHS is dy by dx the numerator of RHS is dy by dt and denominator of RHS is dx by dt see equations three four and five in two and so this gives the proof of the theorem so we'll see total part or total proof together so you will get the clear idea of this so see the pro total proof is written here the yeah formula sa upyog ka hai to tumhala function parametric form madhe dila asel ani original function sa derivative milvayach asel tar parametric function sa derivatives ghun tumhi original function jo y and x madle tya sa derivative milvu shakta so this is the use of this formula so uh, we have seen the formula for a derivative of parametric function if x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t are parametric functions in t then the derivative of y with respect to x that is dy by dx is given by dy by dt is divided by dx by dt so now we'll go for example on derivative of parametric function so we'll consider one simple example here find dy by dx if x is equal to 80 square and y is equal to twice 80 here a is constant and t is the parametric x is function of t and y is function of t so we'll go for the solution can sure once again i will write the given function it is x is equal to 80 square i will consider this is small 1 y is equal to twice 80 that is small 2 which are the parametric functions y parametric because already we have two variables x and y and both are depending on the third variable t so it is parametric functions which are parametric functions in t we have and so we have the formula for derivative of parametric function it is dy by dx is equal to dy by dt is divided by dx by dt call this as third now we have to calculate dy by dt and we have to calculate dx by dt and then we can use these values here in equation 3 to get the value of dy by dx which is the asked value so we can show differentiate this one or, or we can go for two with respect to That is, two is y is equal to twice eighty. So dy by dt is equal to d by dt of two a into t. Now two a is constant, can be taken outside here. So it is two a into derivative of t with respect to t. <coughs> Now we have the same variable here. So derivative of x with respect to x is one. Similarly, here derivative of t with respect to t will be also one, and so we are getting dy by dt is equal to two a. I will call this as next number. It is four. Now, similarly, we'll go for derivative of x with respect to t. Differentiate third, and not third. It is first. Differentiate first with respect to x, and so we are getting dx by dt. And see what is x? It is d by dt of x, and x is a into t square. Now we know that a is constant multiple can be taken outside the derivative and derivative of t square with respect to t. We know derivative of x square with respect to x is. to x similar derivative of t square with respect to t will be twice t and so we are getting now dx by dt is equal to this is 2a into t i will call this as 5 and now we will use 4 and 5 in 3 using 4 and 5 in 3 we get 
see what we get dy by dx this is the lhs is equal to on rhs we have dy by dt in the numerator dy by dt is twice a it is divided by dx by dt is in the denominator so dx by dt is twice at and now 2a gets cancel with 2a and we are getting the answer is 1 upon t that is we got the final answer dy by dx is equal to 1 upon t yes. and this is the answer for derivative of given parametric function x is equal to 80 square and y is equal to twice 80. So, that is it for this example. Now, students may avoid the separate steps here. If you are very nice with the formula for derivative, you can directly put the value of y here, directly put the value of x and you can directly go for the calculations. So, let us go for one more example, find dy by dx if x is equal to a cos theta and y is equal to a sin theta. So, we will rewrite here, we have x is equal to a into cos theta, I will write this, call this as first and y is equal to a sin theta, this is second and here a is constant. So, a is x is function of theta, y is also function of theta. So, both x and y are functions of a parameter theta here. So, which are the parametric functions? In instead of t, here the parameter is used as theta. Then we have the formula for derivative of parametric function dy by dx is equal to, it is dy by dt is divided by dx by dt. I will call this as 3. In this case, I will use these two directly here. In instead of t, now we will use theta here as the parameter is changed to theta instead of t. So, we will use 1 and 2 in 3 using 1 and 2 in 3, we get dy by dx is equal to, see the numerator is dy by d theta. So, dy d theta of y, y is a into sin theta, it is divided by d by d theta of x and x is a into cos theta. d by d theta of x is a into cos theta. So, now a can be taken outside as it is constant multiple there and derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta and derivative again here a is taken outside and derivative of cos theta will be minus sin theta. We can cancel a from numerator and denominator and we are getting this as dy by dx is equal to cos theta upon sin theta is cot theta with this minus sign it is minus cot theta. So, this is the answer, okay. but in case of MCQ uh, you may get a different form of answers there and see how we get that. If you are asked to find dy by dx you can complete like this only, but here see this a cos theta by given condition a cos theta is x and a into sin theta with minus sin is y. So, you may get the answer like this dy by dx is equal to minus x upon y instead of dx dy by dx is equal to minus cos theta. This answer is also correct answer. Okay? So, that is it for this example.